Welcome back again, folks. I'm glad to have you with us. Now, it's always good to talk about good plays, and I'll let you in on this one, which was not a good play. And I'll, um, I'll explain what I saw in the first place and why it didn't come out to be a good play. I tend to think that we learn a lot more from our mistakes, and I will try to show you why it didn't go my way, and maybe we can all learn from this. Now, Visa was upgraded on Tuesday ahead of the FOMC minutes coming out. I was very surprised and very bullish on the um, upgrade, and I believed we could have moved pretty good um, on this on this upgrade. However, when you prepare your day, I've shown you this before. This is the one hour chart. Look at support. There's support in this area. And I'll show you, uh, let me zoom in on this. Let me get rid of this. So, there's support here, which happens to be there. And then the next line of support is this area. And remember this area, I'll show you later what happens with this area. So basically we are opening above this area. Anything above this enters above the old one, making this whole thing bullish. Let's go into five minutes and I'll show you what I, what I saw about this. Um, I'll put the, uh, the line on the old support here on my left side. Let's make that on the five and you'll see what I see. This was the open. This was the old resistance. Now we're opening higher. I'll zoom in on that. We're opening higher. It's a little dip below, and as soon as we got up there, I think our entry was pretty pretty good. This is where we entered for a long, right? Let me get out of this, and I'll show you what I saw afterwards. Uh, let's go back to the one hour. The next line I told you was this one, right? Let me zoom out a little bit, so like this. So what happened? Close enough was this, you know, it came from that high down to touch support, well, twice, sorry, let's do that again, came to support, support, and then went up, right? So you can be sure that this line here is old support. It will become resistance, right? Let's put that back on the five minute and see what happened intraday. This is what happened. We alerted here, and then what happened was knocking its head on the old resistance, like I told you. And then what happened is we crossed it, managed to get above it, and that's it. That's when I thought we're good and we're looking good for a long run. I chose 230. Um, because I believed we could go higher than 2, 230. However, going 230 with only four days to go with the FOMC minutes coming up, it was way too risky. Why? Because FOMC minutes will affect a ticker like Visa, where Visa is dependent on whether the inflation is going up or down, or if they increase the interest rates or not. All this will affect the um, how much people are spending if they're trying to slow down people spending. Visa is going to get affected. So this was way too ballsy and I should have gone on a later date, later expiration if I wanted to, be, be, to um, stick with that strike. And the reason for this why I thought we could go higher is this. Look at this uh, daily. 
the daily showed that we were breaking above you know there's one green candle another one another one we were breaking above this and at the time this candle was a green candle right because the open was there we started going up there was a spike and it was a green candle right if, if it closed like in this particular case it closed red because it closed at this level however all the time we were above the entry line the whole thing was green and my point my idea and target was this line which is higher than 230 was 231 something so this was my target and this is why i was aiming for a ballsy play home run play that i call them and it obviously didn't work and look at this here what happened people got a little scared uh, midday and we started tanking big time right we started tanking but not a little bit we started tanking all the way until this resistance support sorry there was one tiny green candle there and the rest pretty much is red bounced on the on old support went back to 200 ema and then flushed after hours on that fear of the FOMC minutes coming out on that next day. So I did not expect this whole thing to flush almost $8 from here to there. Basically this was voiding pretty much whatever was left in the premiums. Um, if we had gone another week out, it would have been much safer. Because look at what's happening now. We are back to the level where this was here. Now it's back to this level. Obviously, we were we entered higher. However, it would have remained a lot more premiums than if we had um, been on, taking on the same weight. So sometimes when you look for a home run it doesn't quite work out the way you want it and i was very very bullish on it it was too risky of a play knowing that the fomc minutes could have affected the uh, the visa play it should have gone or not touch it at all so basically when you enter a trade make sure that you are aware of the possibilities that can happen Let's say you're playing Tesla, you know that you can have a recall flashed in um, in the middle of your trade. Well, that's probable, but the probabilities are pretty low. However, if you know the FOMC minutes are coming out, you have to be aware of it and trade accordingly. So this was a bad choice of maybe play, or at least a bad choice of uh, an expiration date and um and that's it i hope you um get something out of this and maybe not make the same mistake again all right folks thanks for watching